All right, guys, so once again, we got to talk about The View because they've been having some heated conversations this week as Congress debates gun control or they continue to debate on gun control. Um, so we're going to talk about that because uh, Miss Lindsey Granger, who is the conservative on the show, and I think she's been playing that role quite well, right? I've thoroughly enjoyed her pushing back against the other cackling hens on the view and um i think she deserves a full-time spot to be quite honest with you but they won't give it to her because uh she pushes back way too hard right she gives them a whole lot of smoke and this time again it's her against you know everybody else right it's 1v4 and they are debating gun control okay and <laughs> at one point in this conversation uh joy behar who wants to ban guns all of them at the table want to ban guns again except the conservative voice uh she says that they will finally ban guns when black people have them take a look what's right is right and what's wrong is wrong and that is wrong okay a man going in a grocery store and killing black people is wrong because they're black is wrong and i yeah. can say that and so i can't do anything more than be myself and be honest we're not sitting on fox news we're sitting on abc talking about real issues and having real conversations that i hope people can sit at the table that are conservative and are liberal and they repeat and have and get along to make real progress and then do what whoopi said and vote people in office that represent them whether it's guns whether it's about terrorism whatever the issue is that you can vote for conservative Conservatives or liberals or people in the middle that represent you. It'd be great yeah. if well, the party Matthew represented. Well, McConaughey kind of yeah. spoke to that. He said you have to find common ground right now. Yeah. Like you, we have to find a way to rise above this political back and forth and counter punching because it, it's that urgent what's going on right now. And that's where I think the Chris Murphy interview. I saw what you saw, which is yes. If I had it my way, I would snap my fingers. There's so many things I would do, but I'm not in a position to do that. So in order to do that, I'm going to have to give and take. But I want to do something. Because that has but this, to But the Republican Party already has said, many of them, that taking those AR-15s off the market is a no, no okay, starter. Let me just say this I mean, quick. it's me, all about the just, guns, I know, all right? Can I just say this real quick as a gun owner? Yeah. There are people in this country that genuinely own guns and just do so for the same reason that we all sit up. An AR-15? No, let me tell you. Better, okay, let me give you a story. There's a man in Connecticut that watched his neighbor have a home invasion and watched his whole, their whole family get killed. He built his own AR-15 because Connecticut won't let you buy them, but you can abide by rules that allow you to build them and then he has one in his house to protect his family because he never wants to see that happen again he is a black man it's odd most ar-15 owners are former military okay. 35 plus let me say one more thing. so that's all i'm saying okay. is that they're yeah. not once, crazy once, people okay. here's the thing once black people get guns in this country the gun laws will change trust me <laughs> So here's the here's the bottom line to this. We all need to get off our asses and get out. Yeah, so I say it once, and I say it basically every time I make a video about <laughs> these women on the view. Um, I don't understand how in the world um you can live in a sexist, racist country, right? When you have people who go on national TV and talk about topics that they know absolutely nothing about and get paid millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars. I, I really don't understand it because these women have no idea what they're talking about. There are never any facts, right, or statistics to back up anything that they say, right? They're just factually wrong, okay? Joy Behar apparently thinks that black people don't own guns, right? And again, um, what she's saying is just not grounded in reality as about 24% of black people report that they are gun owners, okay? So one out of four black people are gun owners. Apparently, Joy Behar doesn't know that. Even after Lindsey Granger literally told her a story, a story about how a black man built his own AR-15 out in Connecticut uh, because he witnessed his neighbor's get murdered <laughs> for whatever reason joy behar still does not think that black people own guns even after lindsey granger told her that she herself is a gun owner right so you got two examples right there of black people owning guns joy behar still thinks that black people don't own guns <laughs> again these are the people that claim to be race crusaders right they're fighting against racism but 
what Joy Behar is saying there, what is getting at, okay, is that she has this idea that black people don't own guns because black people are so oppressed that they're not allowed to have guns, right? <laughs> so she's trying to virtue signal her white guilt, okay, in order to let the world know that, hey, I'm a liberal white woman whom believes that black people are so oppressed that they can't own guns, right? Because again, there's this um, idea, right? There's a stereotype that, well, you know, any black person that owns a gun, they automatically get shot by the police, right? That, that is what they think. Any black person with a gun, they get shot by the police. So therefore, black people can't own guns in this country. Again, it's ridiculous, right? It's so, so, so ridiculous, okay? And what these race crusaders don't realize is that them thinking that and them saying that that is creating a racist stereotype in and of itself that black people don't own guns, okay? And when you talk about black people owning guns or just gun ownership in general and the trends around gun ownership, I mean, <laughs> basically more people are buying guns than ever before, but more black people are buying guns than ever before as uh, black gun ownership has gone up 58.2% since uh, 2020, okay? So we have... Uh, black people buy more guns than ever, but yet, where are the gun laws, right? They, they haven't banned guns yet. Now, who knows? Maybe the Democrats, maybe they will try a little bit harder to ban guns because black people uh, own more guns. I mean, I'm just saying, that might make some sense. Look at all these inner liberal cities with all the violence going on there. Uh, some of these uh, liberal cities have the strictest gun laws in this country, okay? And Guess who mainly comprises of a lot of these uh, inner cities? Black people, right? So Joy Behar may be on to something, right, in regards to the Democrat Party's effort to ban guns when it comes to black gun ownership. But I don't think she's on the mark when it comes to Republicans, right? I don't think that black people owning more guns is going to make Republicans budge on gun control, right? I don't think that's something that they're factoring in because if they were then they would be jumping up and down <laughs> to do more gun control uh, right now, right? Considering how black gun ownership is going up faster than ever, right? So again, it is the Democrats that are trying to limit <laughs> black gun ownership, not the Republicans, okay? I mean, in fact, I mean, Joe Biden, the guy who brags the most about the uh, assault weapons ban, right, in the 90s, okay, uh, something that he was a part of, right? That was one of the centerpieces of Biden's legacy. I did the assault weapons ban. Well, what did he do that in response to? Well, he did that <laughs> in response to an increase in violent crime in the 90s, okay? Mainly committed by a lot of it happening in these inner liberal cities, you know, among black folks, right? So again, I think history has shown us that Democrats are more than willing to try to ban guns uh, when they perceive black people as having too many of them. And speaking of banning guns, again, I'm sick and tired of these people begging, begging. We need to ban assault weapons. First of all, nobody's using a true assault weapon, okay? Uh, <laughs> but, but, um, let's say they ban rifles, okay? Let, let's say they actually ban rifles. It would not do anything because only 2.6% of homicides are committed with rifles. Okay, that is why Joe Biden's so-called assault weapons ban didn't work, right? That's why it didn't really cause any real change to gun violence because most of the gun violence, a vast majority of gun violence is not done with rifles. So you're banning a weapon that most people don't even use for homicides. In fact, 4.6% um, of homicides are done with your hands and your feet. So should we ban hands and feet, <laughs> right? Because more people die from hands and feet, right, in fist fights than they do from rifles, okay? Uh, we also have 11.4% of homicides committed with other weapons like hammers, things like that. Should we ban hammers? Or 10.6% of homicides are committed with knives or cutting instruments. Should we ban knives? All these things kill more people per year than rifles. So why are we not calling to ban those things, right? Again, no, nothing that they're saying is, is backed by any facts or statistics at all. Nothing, right? And again, that's why it blows my mind that these people are allowed to have these conversations on national TV, know nothing about what they're talking about, embarrass themselves on a daily basis, and still get paid millions of dollars. But then they turn around and say, this country is so racist and sexist. And I'm just like, if this country is so racist and sexist, there's no way they would allow you clowns 
to be on TV and to make millions of dollars doing it, right? Unless uh, they are purposely trying to embarrass you, right? But again, I don't think I would be paying the millions of dollars to embarrass yourself on TV, okay? But again, everything you hear from these people on the left in regards to gun control and their solutions, they're not grounded in any kind of facts or evidence or statistics. They're just not grounded in reality. They're just not grounded in reality. And this is why you can't have reasonable conversation with these people about solutions because, again, they're, they're not even here on the same planet, right? They're in a whole other world. They're in a world where they think all murders are committed by rifles, right? They think AR-15s are weapons of mass destruction. You can't have conversations with these people who are ignorant on the topics that they're talking about. It, it really does blow my mind. And that's why I feel for Miss Lindsey Granger, right? I hope she gets this spot on The View, but I feel for her. Because, again, I felt like talking to Joy Behar about this subject, any of them, really, is like talking to a box of rocks, right? So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.